give to a wise man and he will increase wisdom. Right? Give. When you give over a thought or an idea to someone who's wise, he will increase wisdom with that idea. He will take that idea and expand on it and, and see deeper into it because that's what it means to be a wise person. A wise person is someone who's actively involved in the business of wisdom, the, the production of wisdom. He's not just sitting with money in a bank box, like I say, it's a deposit box, but he's, he's invested in the wisdom and investing and growing with his wisdom. When we speak about two categories of people involved in learning activities, we have teachers and students. So my stress is to point out that the teachers are also students. And even so, students are teachers. And I'll explain what I mean. So first of all, if a teacher is not continuously learning, then he's not really being true to the wisdom that he has attained because the idea of wisdom is something that's always growing and expanding. We see this in our mind itself. A, a mind is constantly thinking. We cannot turn our brain off. It's constant activity. And that activity is meant to produce something. You know, you can't, you, you can't say that we're meant to think all the time and have no benefit from it. That would be cruel. Hashem would not make a mind that, that never stops working and has no positive result of all that work. So our mind is constantly working and constantly growing. Just like the universe is ever expanding and growing, so the universe of our mind, the, the universe of thought, the world of thought, is constantly expanding and growing. First of all, when we say that a person is always learning, a teacher must continue learning. So that's practically, he must keep learning new material, otherwise what's he going to teach? You know, you can't teach the same thing over and over every day unless you're in the movie Groundhog Day. And then you can teach the same thing because you're repeating the same day. But otherwise, anyone know that movie? Is that ever, am I just out of, it's am I outdated? It's a great movie. Even if you're going to teach the same thing over and over again <laughs> to different people, so you'll think, okay, so in that case, I could just, I don't, I don't have to continue learning. That's not being true to the wisdom because the wisdom itself is an ever-growing, expanding thing. So if you stay with the same idea in your head without growing with it, then you're not really teaching. You're just becoming a radio that broadcasts a pre-recorded message. And that's not really teaching. Really teaching is a living organism and an exchange that is built on growth. That's why we're taught that the students bring a teacher to an even higher level. Students are not going to come and correct you because they don't know as much as you. So what does it mean? I learn more from my students than anyone else is because when I attempt to teach the ideas that I already know, and this is after I've learned it well, and I've reviewed it, and I've prepared it, and I've come to my final conclusions and presentations. Here I am presenting them, and I learn from my teachers more than anyone else because in that presentation, I also grow. And I reach new understandings and deeper understandings when I'm teaching what I've already prepared. Because that's the nature of wisdom, ever growing, ever expanding. Specifically, and more essentially, Torah wisdom is a wisdom that's built on life, and built on living it and fulfilling it. So if I'm not learning and I'm not doing, then I'm not really fit to just be a robot or a radio that, that, that says these things. That's not what you came to hear. You came to learn from someone who is practicing and working on living with the wisdom that he has. And therefore you're gonna take it from him and also live and grow with it.